Basketball in the UK One of the least funded sports even though it's one of the fastest growing, a sport that struggled to gain the exposure it deserves ever since the funding got cut back after the 2012 Olympics. It is extremely popular in America but in the UK it is brushed aside as it doesn't pull in numbers like football and rugby. Due to a lack of funding and support from the government, it can be difficult for players to get the opportunities they deserve. There are not many facilities available for players to train at and even then, they are not in the best condition. The courts are pretty run down and not well looked after. The rims are uneven and don't even have nets. There aren't any clear markings of the three point line and most of the courts aren't even full size. These are the conditions that players have to cope with on a regular basis. With funding and support from the government, basketball can become more mainstream and get the recognition it deserves. Players will have better facilities to take their game to the next level and will have more of a platform so they can make a name for themselves. Basketball is a sport that brings people from different ethnic backgrounds together as it is played worldwide, but why is it treated differently in the UK? In this documentary, I will be talking to players from local basketball team, the Hewish Tigers, to get their thoughts on how basketball in the UK is treated and how the sport can rise to the top. So my name is Gary Carter, uh, I am the head coach of the Hewish Torn Tigers basketball program. Uh, I oversee the whole program, it's pathways from the ages of uh, 3 year olds all the way up to 19 year olds. Uh, the, the players here play every single day on part of the pathway, especially when they come to the college. Uh, and I oversee and plan and look after all of that. In the college setting, we're getting a lot of support now. Um, I think they're starting to see the value of, of, uh, of, of students coming to the college. Uh, but if you look at it from a generic perspective, um, it's still really difficult. I think basketball is still a, a, it's not, not seen uh, on a national scale where it should be. You know? there, there, need, there still needs to be loads of more funding input into it. Basketball is something like the eight least funded sport in the UK and it's the fastest growing number one popular. These guys are here, like, you see how many people are training here today, the video will pick it up. Like, this is Taunton. Think of all the places that are, there's all these massive groups of people not getting nowhere near enough opportunities. And I know that firsthand, to play at the elite level, in coming from an area that's not city-based, urban-based, as like, strictly basketball lifestyle, is very difficult. So like, especially for people like myself. So I have first-hand experience, and you've seen that the facilities in the cities are like, levels and levels above anywhere else just because they have main funding and there's none from a government. It's all, it's all raised from crowdfunding. So. In certain areas like London and the big cities it's funded well, but in the smaller areas like the towns and the less known places it's not funded enough and it's certainly a lot smaller in those areas. I've got a court near me that doesn't have nets, there's not many other courts. It's just nothing's really good. I've been in two areas of the UK and the in coverage over all of it's been pretty horrific. I think the main issues is being regularly available on the on, on the media. You know, like there are there are a couple of companies now, like Hoosfix and uh, the BBLs now on the uh, on, on Sky, but it needs to be attainable for everybody. You know, so uh, I think that's the biggest. It's been the same issues for the last couple of years, uh, and, and it needs to, to be it needs to be better for for players to be out there and to know when they need to go to play basketball. Lots, lots has been done. Um, it may be increasing the whole, the increasing the whole professionalism of everything. You know, higher paid uh, coaches, um, easier access for the players to get to to, to reach their potential. So I've been playing basketball for about six or seven years now. Uh, I started off here at Taunton, uh, played for a few years, quickly became like confident in basketball. I started using it as an escape, like trying to, all of my emotions and like spare time went into basketball. I then played for Southwest under 15s, 
Then I got picked up for Wales under 16s and I played with them for a year, but unfortunately it got cancelled due to COVID. And then over COVID, I had a lot of time to think and I, I realised that maybe this is, I want to push myself and I want to experience this like level that I've been missing out on first hand. So I went up to Bristol and I was playing with SGS for a few months. Um, but then I figured out that that wasn't the right route for me because it's focusing more on basketball as opposed to education, um, as well as like obviously enjoying your time. And for me and my family, education's always been the most important. Um, so I decided to come back to Taunton, um, where I've really enjoyed every minute of it. And this is where I'll be spending the next two years uh, playing at Hewish College uh, with a big leadership role. So that's exciting, so yeah. Basketball has always been like, in PE, it's been a thing you do for two or three lessons, like just to have a little muck about, as opposed to football, which you do for a whole term, which I did in secondary school. So it makes no sense. Like the people, it needs to be known as a sport, just like rugby, football, cricket, netball, like running, as they all are in the UK. Basketball needs to be up there with them, in my opinion. It's a growing sport and I know that because I've been everywhere and it's clearly getting bigger but I guess people don't talk about it enough, there's not enough coverage on the news and I just think the country sort of doesn't think it's possible for it to grow. Just televising it a lot more, making it bigger, more funding, I mean everything can get better. So many people would play it if the facilities were there that it would just be amazing. There's not many places in Wellington and Taunton that you can go to play basketball properly, so I feel like there should be more places for that. The way it's been grown, I don't think that it can be ignored anymore. Um, like, there's so many people out there, like, just people I've met who just love basketball, just haven't had the opportunities. Like, people who've been, like, take me for example, all of my training over lockdown was done at a court with no net and a low ring and no basketball lines, but I still persevered through it and I know that I'm not the only one. There's hundreds of people just like me. So if people keep driving and keep persevering through it, basketball as a whole will develop. So, what have we found out? These players who are really passionate about basketball believe that the sport deserves more spotlight and attention from the UK government. Basketball is taking a step in the right direction, but it's too far from being a top sport in the UK. If basketball continues to grow and develop how it is, I believe that will become a lot more mainstream and will be up there with the likes of football and rugby.